So if you remember in the last video, I had a weird event happen where the rail side did not go back up when the tool changed to the next location and it dug a hole or a trench in my spoil board. So I tried to figure out what was going on and then another weird thing happened. The minimum side dove straight down like I lost a signal from the board. Oh. Okay, that's really weird. Why it did that? Okay, I don't know what's going on because I hit the Y. Try Z again. Okay, I'm going to jog this 100 that way. So the strange thing was, I wasn't able to duplicate either of those weird events, but I did go back and make sure all my connections were sound and snug in the board from the stepper motors. And ever since I did that, I haven't had a problem. Probably shouldn't have said that. Okay, we're going to try this again, except instead of using my phone, I'm going to use the uh, laptop here. I think that worked. The machine did pause when my screen went to sleep on the laptop. So I'm going to have to make that change on the setting. These look to be. 
be freaking spot on as far as the holes go right above the threaded inserts. I will say, all in all, even with the errors, I was pretty impressed with how the holes in the spoil board lined up perfectly with the holes and the threaded inserts in the table itself. So the next thing to do for me will be to use a V-bit and carve the spoil board grid which will allow me to position things accurately. And so stay tuned for that. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> 